This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by HostGator. Coming up on this episode of TRS, we continue our quest to come up with our top movies in Versus. Welcome back to Versus. Two movies enter, one movie leaves. What I'm referring to is we go to the website flickchart.com and are given these two movies and have to choose which one we prefer. Correct. Uh, all the while creating a list of favorite movies of all time and also creating a list of shame of movies that one or two of us have not seen. Correct. Uh, you can go to flickchart.com slash totally rad show to see the current standings, but it's in flux. It Always. is in flux. So. With that said, flux it up. Flux it up. Mike, give us what the, the flux. Yes. Are you first ready? Pairing. For the first one. Yes. Very fair. The Mask versus Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's, Ocean's Eleven. Eleven. Didn't, never really. Ocean's Eleven, well, but I mean, I did. The but Mask, I loved. I didn't like. The mask. I didn't like Jim Carrey. I didn't love the mask back then. Oh man, I oh, had. You the... loved Jim Carrey. I did love Jim Carrey, and I, I didn't love. Did the you mask. like the comic book? John, you know John Rose. I never comic book of all time. Really? Oh, it's, I didn't know that. Absolutely adores it. In fact, yeah, he. I never read it. I love that. I had the CD, like the soundtrack. I would listen to it. Wow. It was amazing. Cameron Diaz's breakout role. Yeah, yeah that's true. Breaking out of that dress. Uh, unless some, something about Mary might be a real breakout role. But. No, that was no. It was. It, well, I, I see what you're saying, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, so it was just a love it. Yes. The Godfather Part Two. Nice. Yes, that one. Versus The Aviator. I have Godfather not Part seen two. The Godfather Part Two. It's it's, nope. it's, it's Godfather, but uh, yeah, he's on List of Shame. I'm List of Shame. There you go. Part two. So it's Spaceballs now. Both of them, or just the second one you haven't seen? Well, Spaceballs was the Aviator the, the Leonardo Aviator. Di Was it Leonardo DiCaprio Aviator or the yeah. or what? There's well, which a one? movie called The Aviator that's. Um, it's The Aviator, Chris, the one that we know of. Uh, oh, got it. Was it was a what big movie back it? in like eighty something with. Um, oh God, who played uh, Christopher Reeve? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, in this case, it's space. Because every time I see it, <laughs> space I, will, space I will quote Aviator? the shit space out of it. Yeah. I'm going to pick space balls as well. Aviator, yeah. solid movie. Space solid balls. Movie. What, probably my favorite. Space balls is, is, is my favorite Mel Brooks. Mark, Mel Brooks movie. Yeah. It could you be. You guys like Young Frankenstein. 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 Young um, Fargo versus cool. Sideways. Oh, shit. oh. my problem with Fargo, uh, as I said in the past, amazing movie. Yeah. But it's not really about. Those are both great movies. It's, it's hard to like take anything That's away a, this from is, the experience. This is a of really Fargo. good Sideways. You take a lot away from that movie. Yeah, yeah. but I took something away from Fargo. What? Like, what do you take away? Don't go to Fargo. <laughs> don't go to Fargo. It's Fargo. cold there, and people talk funny. <laughs> in um, North Dakota. I uh, might pick sideways. I'm picking sideways. Well, I'm gonna pick Fargo just to balance things, but I'm but happy I with either one. All right. I'm not. You do that a lot. You like get out of jail free cards. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Being John Malkovich yeah. versus Seven. Holy crap! Wow. Got, got you really? Yeah. That easy for you? First time. Easy I, peasy. I, mean, I can break it down like this. Japanese. <laughs> First time I watched Being John Malkovich, liked it, didn't love it. Second time, loved it. Seven. Every time I've seen it, it's you know like, what? Again, I might have seven to go gets seven even as well. With age, I'm gonna have to go seven as well. I think seven is probably my top ten movies of all my personal top ten movies. Of I all think time. it uh, very influential it, movie as well. But dude, Being John Malkovich is a great film. Most great. definitely, it'll come up again. Um, so we we'll pick seven. seven. You're with seven. It uh, I will pick this one for you. Back to the Future Part Two versus Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Dan, do you want to? Uh, do you want to? I don't know. Create some chaos here. Why? What would my chaos be? I thought you liked Robin Hood a whole bunch. I do. I do. I do too. Yeah. More than, you Back, to more than Back to the Future Part Two. But Back to the Future Part Two, not one. Not one. Two. Come on. It's awesome. Hey, future. I, Hover boards. Uh, 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 Are you uh, kidding uh, me? The begin. The Why first, would you cut his eye out uh, with the, a spoon? The Why first, not something sharp like a nut? Because it's dull, you idiot. It would hurt more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first half <laughs> of Back to the Future Part Two. I like want to play on repeat over and over and over again. Yeah. At least when I was younger. Second half of Back to the Future Part Two always felt like. It's seedy. It makes it something you can feel good when you see like the fake. Oh, I love reality. that, dude. I didn't like the, but I do like when he like revisits stuff from the first movie. Yeah. Robin Hood's themes. Bit, being the whole in the, movie in the hot is tub is, is seedy. Yeah, like that's I don't like that yeah. whole weird time. I'm gonna go Robin Hood Prince. But I'm gonna go with Back to the Future Part Two. Thank that being you. Said. Good. Thank you it's, very much. It's awesome. Mike, it's awesome. Mike was about to quit the show. <laughs> I'm just putting it. I'm just getting Prince ready. Prince of I'm like so with you. Like, yeah. Traffic versus The Truman Show. 
These are good ones. Wow, Perfect. really? They're good all ones. like um, from the same all, era. Nineties. This is, I think they maybe had a site update. You know what <laughs> I'm gonna is say? Really good. I'm gonna go with traffic. Me too. I wasn't a massive fan of Truman Show. I wasn't either. Me neither, but. I liked it. it, it, it revisiting it. I know, I've it's done It's like this. even more prescient now than it was. Well, that's true. Um, but so I'm gonna, is traffic. <laughs> I haven't seen traffic in a while. I only saw it in the theater. Yeah, me too. And yeah. I loved it, but. I, but traffic. Jeez, I don't know, guys. I'll go Get with Get out of the car and shoot him in the head. Yeah, I'll go with traffic. Was that from Truman Show? <laughs> yes. <Seven. laughs> the Untouchables versus Ooh. X Men. First, first X Men? One. Very first. Untouchables. One. Yeah, I'm, I'm the guy who likes. Uh, I like X Men. I love. I like those cheesy, this cheesy Joss Whedon line that everyone hates in X Men. But I'm gonna also say Untouchables, Untouchables. dude. Yeah, that's the Chicago way. Yeah, yeah, most definitely it is Untouchables. But I think X Men, though X Men first he class again. What? I've seen it now three Yet times. Again? I've seen it three times, and that, I really liked. I <laughs> randomly so watched good. our Kick Ass review on the show. Oh, Why did you randomly watch that? I was looking for a different review that we were doing. You were trapped under something. I was trapped under something. I don't think I liked it that much. And uh, no, I, uh, yeah, I liked it okay, but I wasn't knocking it out of the park, right? You liked it. You liked it, but we you talked about it's crazy that Matthew Vaughn was supposed to make, and I dream of the X Men movie that he would make, and uh, you were like, you're like, he, we may still get it. There's gonna be like 16 of them, and you're like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like, that sounds do, just, you nailed that. Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bra, bra, bra. So it was just sort of funny. Anyway. And he sits on his piles of money. I think we chose traffic. Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, uh, Hellboy which, but... 2, The Golden Army versus Gangs of New York. <laughs> kind of. Marketing Ooh. campaign. I, gangs of New York? I might go. I I'm might go Gangs off. of New York. Really? I didn't like I, Gangs I, of New me York. Me neither. I, I liked it. I liked, I liked, I liked it precisely and... one thing, and that was Daniel Day-Lewis. That was the only thing. That monologue when when DiCaprio wakes up, is is basically the only part yes. of the movie that matters. <laughs> I uh, think. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna kill Michael Hellboy, dude. I, he, neither of these is great. I don't mind. It's Did we great. see Hellboy? Did I'm gonna Hellboy? go Hellboy too. Wow. 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 I really I mean, did not like. That one for you, Dan, I really did not like. Uh, Thanks, uh, New York. Thanks, New York. Huh. I mean, there were moments where I was like, "This is the most amazing thing," but then there were long, drawn-out moments where I was like, "Boy, I wish this most amazing thing would start." Mm -hmm. Tandy Lewis is very good in it, though. He's great. So is Cameron Diaz, actually. And, okay. uh, that's that's the, the movie cat. that made her. Yeah, it was a breakout role. Breakout role. Yeah. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Always good one. Favorite Always one. with the Harry Potters. Good one. Yeah, yeah. And good. Predator. 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 The first Predator, right? Not Predators. Predator. Predator, Predator. Predator. totally holds yeah, up. Yeah. It's still yeah. awesome. Yeah. Great action movie. Stands the test of time. Yeah. Yep. And Schwarzenegger. Seven, once again, versus Legally Blonde. Seven. Seven. Though Legally Blonde, list very good movie. Actually, it is on my list of shame. What is, Legally, Legally Blonde? Blonde but you should see it. I don't it. think it's we need to worry. It's actually a really good movie. <laughs> yep. on it is on my list of yeah, shame. Yeah, I, I actually, I, <laughs> list of, eh. That, uh, there, there are a couple, like, really cheesy, sort of, like, comedies that I should not have any Business reason liking. liking, that I really like, like House Bunny. Love it. Sounds yeah. like the same movie. It isn't. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> All it's right. just different. Seven versus train spotting. Seven. Oh. Train spotting. Seven. Big time. But oh train spotting is very good. Seven. Oh boy. No problem. I didn't. I had less of a problem with this than I did with uh, Bing John Malkovich. I'm gonna go with train spotting train as well. Train spotting. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh. You guys! I would, I would What's in the box? Over, I would also pick train spotting over Bing John Malkovich. What's in the toilet? Uh, well, drugs. Quid pro quo. <laughs> Ro po quid. Phrase. Okay. National oh, treasure. Property of versus. Uh, National treasure uh -huh. oh, yeah. versus elf. Is that on your list of shame? National I've treasure? never seen uh, either of them. You should Whoa. see both of them. What do you uh, do? Are you with... me with those two movies? Well, elf is well, really. Sort of. Elf is great. Great Christmas movie. Uh, Christmas and also, oh. National Treasures, just see it. It's so cheesy and fun. It's, it's like watching. I'm not gonna say anything. Like, <laughs> Dan you Brown you trapped under something. Okay. Well, maybe. <laughs> Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. Okay, second uh -huh. one, not as good. Versus Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Euphigenia. Euphigenia. Oh, picking, hello! Picking Euphigenia it was a drive by fruiting. Uh, <laughs> snakes on a plane, bitch. I've never seen that. Oh. oh. List of Jeff, shame. Can you yeah. see some movies, please? Jeff, stop you playing video games. And you should do a film festival of Sticks on a Plane, Legally Blonde. <laughs> and House Bunny. <laughs> and House Bunny. Uh, the Goonies versus Blair Witch Project. Goonies. 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 Pulp Fiction versus Cloverfield. Pulp, Pulp Fiction. Fiction. The Aviator. The one wow. we all know. Which one? The one we all okay. know. 
Versus... Not the classic Christopher Reeves movie. <laughs> no. okay. uh, versus Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Holy Grail. Holy, Holy Grail. Grail. It's one that I like. You don't like Life of Brian? <laughs> no, I like part. I just I've only like seen them in parts, you know. So the but I know which one. But you I like, like Holy Grail because it's got the one arm, the losing all the limbs as he's fighting, and yeah. it's like I like. I actually. Life of Brian is awesome. Also, yeah. but, but um. Holy Grail, like the filmmaking, like the, lo looking at the medieval times and that it was like dark and gritty. It was like almost Nolan's take on the medieval it times was, yeah. back then. So yeah. yeah. Return of the that. Jedi. Yeah. Yes. Influence versus the, the Green Mile. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Return of the Jedi. Jedi. Yeah. Ewoks, bring it. Obviously. Bring it. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull mm -hmm. versus, versus any movie. Jerry Maguire. Jerry, Jerry Maguire. Boy, that's a sad comment. What's the what's the word? What's the word in Jerry Maguire? Show me the money. No, no, no. The word that that <laughs> money. <laughs> Show that he makes me. Not, mufuku or whatever. He's like got some word that's like. It's the, a quan. Quan. The human head weighs. You don't remember quan? I totally do. Oh my god. Isn't she uh, Michelle Kwan the Olympic? <laughs> yeah. Olympic Pirates skin. of the Caribbean versus uh, Pirates of the Caribbean: The Curse of the Black yeah, Pearl. Like, Where's my colon? Versus <laughs> Tropic Thunder. Both. Uh, both interesting. Uh, I'm gonna say Tropic the Tropics. Thunder. Because of Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, I'm gonna say Tropic Thunder. I, Curse of Black Pearl was definitely the best of the Pirates. It's teams. tough. I mean, I'm gonna go with Tropic Thunder, but I, that that uh, yeah. All right. Tropic Star Thunder. Wars Episode Three oh, okay. versus Laura Croft Tomb Raider. Whoa! It's a shitty off. It's a it's shitty, shitty off. off. <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm, Episode Three. I'm gonna go Although, with Episode Three. What I too. heard you say yeah, was for sure Episode Three mm, and Tomb Raider <laughs> because I don't believe those first three movies exist anymore. I think you mean the last three movies. That's it? Episode three. We have versed. That's it? We That's versed. what we're ending on? We were well versed. We were well versed. That was a good one. Yeah, it, it was, was a good run. It, it started good off run, really good, and then yeah. we moved into the Harry Potter uh, Tomb Raider <laughs> world. Tomb of Tomb Raider. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. We have been versed. Nicely done, boys. Verse it up. All those seven. All right, everybody, be sure to stick around for a little more action of uh, Mikey talking to the cast of The Thing. Yeah. We, uh, we, we sent our crack team of Mike. Our crack team of Mike. Uh, over, and then he's talking, to, he's talking about the thing. Yeah, to people. You know the thing. All right, but first we want to thank our sponsors, HostGator. HostGator can get your blog or website up and running in minutes with plans starting at just $3.96 a month. Very specific amount. <laughs> uh, you can get 24-7 support and access to the website building tools with over... With over 4,000 templates. That's a lot of templates. They'll even migrate your current site for free, <laughs> That's Dan. For free. For free. The servers are 130% powered by wind energy. Wait, what? That doesn't make any mathematical sense. It doesn't sense. make sense. They give 30% of their wind energy back. Whoa! I don't even know if that's true. To the Unlimited wind? disk space. Yeah, they have fans going backwards. <laughs> Unlimited disk space and bandwidth. 45-day money-back guarantee. $100 Google AdWord credit. Whoa! Google, Google's a weird word. Uh, <laughs> to market your site. For Revision 3 viewers, HostGator is offering you 25% off your entire order or your first month for free. Just go to HostGator.com. Wow. Enter the code TOTALLYRADSHOW at checkout. That's awesome. There's a lot of backwards blowing fans. It's a lot of train being held steadfast on those Stead tracks. Fast. It's great. Yeah. Like a, a host blue. gator. I was a host gator. At that you were. Point. You were. I grabbed out of the sponsorship. Like a host. You were not and duct taped go. my jaw onto it. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Woo! Coming up tomorrow, we check out the movie The Thing. And hey, more of me with the cast. What movie, TV show, toy, or um, thing, the thing, uh, is scary to you? What, what scares um, the bejesus you? out of you? The be uh, I'm really scared of heights. Heights. Genuinely, and it's only it's something that's happened in the past couple of years. What? Oh, really? You gained it? Yes. I have become Did more, you have like, a traumatic experience? I don't think so. No? Unless I've blocked it out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but like now, I used to really love like roller coasters and stuff. I don't like them anymore. I don't, oh, interesting. I don't, I don't like going, I will never go skydiving. I will never go bungee jumping. It just won't happen. What about like walking across a bridge and looking over? I can do that, but you know, I don't like enjoy it. I'd rather just get it over quickly. I'm claustrophobic. That's kind of my only irrational fear. Oh, okay. So I have an elevator in my building that like stops all the time. <laughs> and just goes <laughs> And then I'm just stuck in the elevator for like two hours on my iPhone. Well, you'd have your iPhone. 
That's right, too. <laughs> Thank God. I'm literally just start tweeting. Awesome. Now, is there something that, that just scares the bejesus out of you? Um, I mean, l like I said, I get turned on by the, 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 the mental, the, you know, the intellectual mind kind of fear. It's like, well, is it him? Is it, the, you know, the build up, the Hitchcock kind of thing. Uh -huh. um, but I've got to tell you, though, the prosthetic creatures that were created for this are just phenomenal. I mean, I really, and no matter how many times you see these creatures on set and they contort and they move, I mean, it does not cease to, to scare the hell out of you. So, and I think it's going to be at least another 10 years before they catch up to these type of creatures. I haven't seen, have you seen anything? No. You know, I think no. they've set a new bar. And it probably makes your acting so much easier, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. really informed. You know, when an arm falls off and starts squirting blood, <laughs> you, it's like, you know, you can't beat a, 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 a green tennis. Right, right. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.